Today we're faking the long exposure light painting effect inside of After Effects while looking a little awkward on camera. Hey, what's up guys around here? Welcome back to another tutorial. And uh, today we're doing the light painting effect inside of After Effects and we're kind of faking it, but we're, you know, we're gonna try to get a really good start on that look. Uh, provided a free toolkit that you can drop in After Effects and use it if you like. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let's track some footage at our light streak and see how we do this thing. Yikes, okay, there is our footage that we're starting with. This is just, uh, you know, recording on the webcam, uh, some footage to uh, track for our light streak. <laughs> What's with these eyes? And the double chin's back. That's, that's a joke from another tutorial. Anyways, all right, so what we're gonna do is, uh, I kind of made this shot easy on myself to track because what we're gonna do is we have a high contrast point of light. Ideally, you probably wouldn't want it this large, just bright enough that you can kind of see it. So uh, to get us going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this guy and I'm going to uh, I'm just going to track our motion using the good old old fashioned point tracker here. And uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm just going to I'm just boxing off this light. Um, our streak's going to be over there anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. And uh, I'm just opening up our search area a little bit. I'm actually bracket this off right here because this is uh, the only part of the footage that I actually need. And I'm gonna, oh man, okay, so this video is ridiculous. But anyways, all right, so let's go ahead and start on this frame. And let's see, it looks like in our layout, we can't really see the uh, analyze button here. So with that selected, I'm gonna go ahead and press play and analyze forward. So we'll kind of let this go and we'll come, and eh, it's going pretty fast, but yeah, we'll come back when this is done. All right, cool. So our uh, <clears throat> awkward footage here <laughs> got got done tracking. And uh, since, you know, it's a high contrast point, we didn't have any issues with this 2D tracker. So normally what I would do is, uh, you know, bring out a null and you apply the data to that. But uh, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to go ahead and double click. And I'm actually going to bring in our Phoenix Light Painting Toolkit. So I'll import that. And if you look in the uh, Light Painting Composition here, we already have a streak that's kind of already uh, been made and played with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab everything in this composition. I'm gonna copy it. I'll go over to our footage, I'll paste it there. And uh, just to get everything lined up, I'm just gonna do the open bracket to get everything in line right here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this uh, add tracking data and as you see it already has some keyframes on it, just so you can see that uh, you know, something's moving. And I'm gonna uncheck the position because we don't want any keyframes on that. And uh, let me go back to my footage. And if you don't see your, uh, you know, edit target options and stuff here, I'm in the composition right now. Double click this and make sure you're in the layer. And uh, with that tracker selected, I'm gonna switch edit target. And from the toolkit, I already labeled our null layer, add tracking data. So we'll go to that, add tracking data. We'll click okay, go to apply. We only did the position, so we only need X and Y. And so if I turn on our null that's controlling our particle, we have it tracked to our camera. So everything worked out. So now that we have our null in the scene, but we don't have uh, any light streaks happening, let's talk about what's going on. First, first thing I will mention really quick, let me turn on uh, the particular layer here, is if you're doing you know, 720p or even you know, 3K, 4K, whatever K you're doing, uh, right now this layer is set at 1920 by 1080. If you are doing a different resolution from 1920 by 1080, don't scale this particular layer up when the particles get a little weird. Uh, make sure you do control shift Y and you want to make your solid the comp size versus scaling. So a quick note on that. And now let's talk about why we don't see anything. So uh, what particular is referencing is it's referencing this particle layer. Uh, this is driving the particle look. And, and I, at the time of doing this, I really liked the two line streaks that I saw in some of my reference images. So I just kind of made two random shapes um, in this square to make two light streaks. This is what's driving the particles. And if you want to change this, you can to match, you know, however you want your particles to look. So since we know that the particle sprite is driving particular, when you copy and paste items with this toolkit, it doesn't remember which layer um, it needs to reference. So if I go to our effect controls here and I go to particle, it's set to sprite fill. So I'm going down to texture here and the layer we're looking for is the particle sprite. Cool, so right away we got some things happening. And uh, this is kind of just the default color. 
let's uh, let's go into a couple little easy details um, that you can do to kind of refine this uh, light painting start. I mean, it's it's a good start. I hope I hope it gets you there. So let's do a couple of quick things. So right now, if you look at all my effects I got going on here, uh, fast blur levels, hue and saturation, glow. That's kind of what's driving all this. So. So the first thing I kind of want to do is I want to make the particles a little bit smaller. So let's go into particular. We'll go to our particle settings and let's just adjust the size of this real quick. Maybe something like that. And this, this layer also is set to add. If you want to change that, you can. Uh, but maybe I'll just go a little bit larger. And this is good to know if you have like close up shots or wide shots and you want to adjust the size of your particle. And kind of the only other thing I did uh, when I was originally doing this for another project is I kind of switched the uh, hue around. So let's see, if I do zero, zero, what do we get? We get, okay, so we kind of get that teal color. Maybe I want something more blue. And, you know, just for the purposes of this, let's increase the intensity of our glow because glow's awesome, right? No, just me? Okay. And then uh, another thing I did, you don't have to do this, is completely optional, uh, but at the time I was using uh, match grain. And uh, so if I want to do match grain, I select our goober footage layer and kind of just uh, gives a little bit of texture to it, but it will slow it down a lot. So if you want to turn that off, you can. Uh, maybe I'll add a quick noise to this. And there we go. So there we go, guys. Um, try not to look at the... A horrible footage, but more the light streak effect. Um, and all these settings, you know, you can kind of play with the particle life and how long you want the particles to stay up there and some other sort of settings that, uh, yeah, I encourage you to play with and get the kind of look that you're going for. So there we go, guys. Um, there's another uh, toolkit for you guys. The link for that will be in the description below. Um, as usual, got more tutorials coming out, more stuff, more live streams if you guys want to hang out. So uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next week.